Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's your boy Biplot once again and in today's video, I will be showing you how to enhance the performance of Windows 10 by using Microsoft Power Tools. So if you don't know what is Power Tools, then Power Tools is a small free software tool from Microsoft that helps to enhance the different inbuilt features of Windows 10. Power Tool is not something new in Windows. It was initially launched on Windows 95. It was also available on Windows XP, but it wasn't seen until 2019. But now Microsoft made it available for Windows 10 as well. So further in this video, I will be showing you how to install Power Tool and enhance the performance of Windows by using Power Tool. So what you need to do first is come to this site, the link is in the description and you go over here and you will see download and release notes. You click on this and you scroll down, you will see this power to a setup. Click over here and it will start downloading. Here as you can see my downloading is started. So here you can see the power to a setup is downloaded. Now you show this in folder. And what you can do is you can run it as administrator and it will start installing since i have already installed it i'm not going to install this right now once you have installed power to a now you run power to a one thing you need to keep in mind is you always run as administrator so once you open power to a setting you will see different options you can see general color picker, fancy zones, file explorer, image resizer, keyboard manager, power rename, power to a run, shortcut guide and video conference mute. So here in general you can see appearance and behavior you can change the theme of this and you have an option uh, to download the updates automatically. Now let's go into the color picker. So the first feature we are going to talk about is a color picker. So what color picker feature does is it gives you the hex code or the RGB value of any color. So if you are working in web development or in Photoshop and you want to know the color code of any color, then you can use the color picker feature. So how can you do this is you can enable the color picker over here and we have a shortcut over here windows plus shift plus C. So I will show you how it is done. Now I will press windows plus shift plus C and here you can see in my mouse it is giving me the color code since i am mean, uh, aiming at black so it is giving me rgb value 222 and hex code as well so if i move this mouse over the white color then it is giving me different colors if i move it towards red then it is giving me different color code similarly it will give the color codes of any color which we point and what you can do is you can also zoom in that color by scrolling your mouse here i can zoom in and zoom out by scrolling if i want to know the color code of this then i can zoom over here and you can see it represents the color code of all the colors my mouse is pointing right now so it is a very important feature for web developers photoshop users and many more and if you want to in this color picker features then you right click on your mouse and it will disappear and the next one is fancy zone. This is my favorite feature of Power Tool. So in fancy zone, what you can do is you can divide your monitor into any parts you want. So how you can do this is you go to the launch zone editor. And here it will give you an option to divide your monitor into any types you want. You can divide it into columns, rows, grid and priority grid. So I want to create my own custom layout, then I go over here and add zones, any number. So if I want three zones, then I use this and now what I can do is add in them in any way I like. So I will arrange them in this way. So here you can see I have divided my monitor into three separate zones. So what it can do now is I apply save. So I want to run a notepad and if I want to run a browser. So what I can do is you need to hold the shift button and drag them and you can see 
three zones in my monitor so i can place them anywhere i like so i have this and i will place it over here and i have this and i will place it over here so this is a very useful feature and i can use all of them at once as you can see i can use any of those feature at once so this is a very important feature for me because if you are students and you want to do project following the tutorial then you can run your tutorial in one window and perform your tasks in another window and you can also do some other tasks in another window so it is a very important feature and my favorite feature in power Tool. and we have our next feature which is file explorer so what it does is it helps to enable sbg preview it enable markdown preview and it also render the thumbnails of SVG file. What it means is if you have any SVG file or MD file in your computer, then it will render the preview and it will render its thumbnail. So since I don't have any SVG or MD file in my computer right now, I will give you a model overview. So the file explorer feature of Power Tool will help you to see the preview as seen in this video. And you can see you can see the preview of SVG and MD file. It also helps to render the SVG icon. So if you have any SVG file or markdown file, then it will help to render the thumbnail of those file as well. So the next we have is a image resizer. This image resizer feature helps us to resize the multiple images at once. If I want to resize these three images of different sizes, then what I can do is select all these images, right click on them. You can see over here, resize pictures. So as I click on them, now I can resize all these three pictures into any format I like. I can make it small, medium, large, phone type, or I can custom it into any. If I want to resize it into the smaller one, then I can click on small and then I go to resize. So you can see all of these pictures are resized into smaller one. So this one is a resized image. So if I go to the properties, and here you can see its current size is 45.4 KB. And now the original image was 3.7 MB. So in this way, you can resize all multiple images at once by using this feature. So you can also change the encoding. You can resize the image into PNG format, BMP format, TIFF format, etc. And you can also change the quality, PNG interlacing, and different things. Next one we have is a keyboard manager. So this feature helps us to map the keys of our keyboard. This feature will be very useful if your keyboard is not working properly or some of the buttons in your keyboard are not working properly. Also, you can map different commands into one key. So how you can do this is you go to the remap key. So here, I will show you how I can map the keys. So in select in key, I will select a key. So if I type A, now my A key is selected. Now I want to map something in this A key. So what I will do is control and C. This will copy any text. So if I do this and press OK, every time I select items and press A, it will start copying. For example, if I select all this text and press A, which I am doing right now, and now if I paste this, now you can see all the text are pasted. So we have mapped Ctrl plus C in key A. In this way, if some of your buttons in keyboard are not working, then you can map those into another key and use it as well. The next feature is a power rename. So this feature will help us to rename multiple images and multiple files at once. I will show you how it is done. Here I have some of the images and I want to rename all of these. So if I have to remove without this feature, then it will be a very tedious task. So what we can do now is we can select all and click on them. And here we have a feature called power rename. So what I can do is search for images.
So I want to replace this with the name and what I can do is rename now. So you can see all of the name of these pictures are changed now. So in this way, you can also rename multiple files or multiple pictures once at a time. So next we have is a power to a run. Power to a run feature is just like a run feature in our computer. So what you need to do is press alt and then shift, then this bar will appear in this computer. You can search anything in your PC from here. So next we have is a shortcut guide and it is not an important feature but I will show you what it does. So if you keep on pressing windows, it will give you some shortcut buttons and by pressing them, it will perform the different actions. For example, if I press I, it will open settings. If I press A, it will open action bar and so on. So next feature we have is a video conference mute and this feature is in an experimental phase. So I will not describe this one in this video. So guys, this was for today's video and if you want to support me and my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to Talk Technology and I will see you once again in another video.